What is up guys, this is Stero back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest 21st July 2019 build of the Liquid Remix Pi ROM and this is the latest build as of right now and I'll be showing you if this ROM is holding up like pretty well as of right now and I did not do a Liquid Remix video for quite a long time so here we go. Well by default we have the quick step launcher over here as you can see and I did flash with the latest TWRP recovery and it's not an official recovery and I'll link like how to flash over here the how to flash guide over here and if you go to the left we have the Google Now cards as you can see and everything is dark as you can see because of the wallpaper over here even the like quick settings panels and stuff everything is dark and I changed this to like accent color the header color is accent color based and if you notice like up close you can see this like the blue color kind of mixes with the black over here the opacity of stuff like that and it's just like smooth over here and everything feels really really smooth in this ROM and the like default animation over here as you guys know is 0.5x so every animation the app open up animation and stuff everything is like pretty fast over here it's like instantaneous so this ROM is like pretty dope for daily driving and even vaulty and stuff everything is working fine there is like call recording option and video calling option in the in call UI so you don't need to worry about basic stuff and even the volume panel if you notice over here as you can see it has this kind of like media notification and the alarm volume control over here you can expand it just like this so this is really good and if you go to the launcher settings let me show you that if you go to gestures we do have the double tap to screen off or this double tap to sleep is there now let me quickly show you the Figment scanner speed over here. As you can see it's pretty decent, pretty fast, no issues whatsoever regarding the Figment scanner speed. Now let me just quickly go into the settings again to show you the about section. And here as you can see the Android version shows like this. On top we have the Liquid Remix logo and then we have the like build date and stuff like that for Redmi Note 5 Pro. And here we have the latest July 5th 2019 security patch. Of course Android version is 9 and the stock kernel is Pixel Experience Plus kernel and here is the build date July 21st 2019. We have all the customizations inside this liquid launch. Inside ambient we have this kind of like music ticker option. There is door settings and like the new notification ambient settings is there. Pickup and stuff is there if you want to use it. If you go into the animations we have the like transition options. So these are pretty cool that you can like control whole screen animation. You can even control the power menu animation. So that is really good. Let me just go back and we also have the screen of animation changing option to CRT fade or scale. And if you go into buttons, we have the volume rocker customization from here. Lot of volume rocker customization you have over here. So you don't need to worry at all regarding the volume panel. Let me just go back. If you go into gestures, we have all the gestures like the edge navigation gesture, normal navigation gesture or gesture anywhere or stuff like that. Everything is there. This works flawlessly so you don't need to worry. It even has the MIUI kind of animation and AOSP gestures is there so that we get the swipe up home button. As you can see swiping all the way up gets you to the app drawer and like just swiping once will get you to, to the recent panel. And even this like edges of this recent panel is rounded so this looks pretty good. And over here we have the swipe to take screenshot so you can like take a screenshot just like that and it's like pretty good does not scroll takes like the screenshot pretty quickly and screen off power button torch is there so that you can toggle the torch whenever the phone is locked with the power button and status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep is there too of course it works flawlessly inside lock screen we have the Android Q style lock screen stuff so you have the lock screen like this it shows the clock pretty dope as you can see looks pretty amazing you can change the clock style to android q or like whatever settings you need or like you can even change the font size and stuff and there is like pretty interesting features like the face auto unlock then there is the like fingerprint unlock always unlock with the fingerprint option is there so you don't have to enter pin whenever you reboot so that is a really great feature and you can even change the temperature unit to celsius and stuff if you want to and if you go to misc usb configuration you can set it to like file explorer by default over here you can disable wake up on charge over here and there is screen record option too you will get it from the like toggles over here you can add like multiple toggles from here as you can see there are a lot of options even gaming mode is there so you don't need to worry about these kind of stuff there are multiple options for these if i go into navigation 
we have the normal navigation mode then we have this like layout you can change this like layout to like swap back and recents so that the back button goes to the right side as you can see right now my back button is to the right side because i have done that and 100 mode is there too if you need it and the gesture mode is still there and over here we have the smart bar and fling option instead of the default and you can even change the height and stuff if you want to for this navigation bar also we have the pulse option for this navigation bar so that is really cool you will get the notification option so that you can disable the heads up option from here battery light is there blink flashlight on call is there and also we have the notification ticker and in call vibration options are inside this notification settings and if you go into the power menu we have the advanced reboot and stuff let me show you that you do get this advanced reboot option and you can just directly reboot to recovery or fast boot from here and over here we have the quick setting panel customization as you can see there are a bunch of options for this quick settings panel we have the recent panel option setting to quick step stock or android go style so a lot of options for the recent panel and even status bar customizations are there so that you can change the battery like you can enable the battery bar carrier label customization is there clock settings is, is there too you can change the clock position to right left or center and am pm style and stuff everything is there if you want it and the font style you can change it too from here as you can see for this like status bar clock and the battery style you can change it to android q right now i have set it to like android q and battery like percentage is there too and bluetooth battery stats as well is there liquid remix logo is there if you want to enable it and over here we have the brightness control inside this status bar settings like the one i showed already as you can see this works like pretty fine over here now 4g icon is there too and there is the old mobile data style i think and by the way there is a system updater over here if you go to about liquid remix inside the settings like the customization settings then if you go liquid remix ota you can check for updates from here but right now it says can't check for updates even though my wi-fi is working fine but i don't know when it will be working but right now it just says can't check for update let me just go back if you go into the display settings we have uh, multiple options like the rotation settings you have the like 180 degree and 270 degree rotation options too so that is really great double tap to wake is there and it works flawlessly ui style you can change it to pixel or aosp and you can even change the background color like automatic by wallpaper then light dark and black let me just put it to light now so as you can see right now we are on the light theme now over here we have the like settings dashboard icons you can set it to round accent one plus or like audio style over here and also we have this like quick setting header style i have set it to accent i have told you already and this is why it blends kind of in with the ui it looks really really great you can change the quick setting toggle styles too over here as you can see we have square meadow poke sign etc options and font manager is there too so we get multiple fonts over here a lot of fonts are present in this room you don't need to worry at all now if you go into sounds you will see that there is the like me audio dirac over here so you can change these kind of settings and get pretty dope sound quality through the headphone jack or even bluetooth now let me just show you what stock camera do we have as stock camera we have miui camera over here and it works pretty fine with portrait mode and stuff so no complaints regarding the miui camera it works flawlessly now can you install google camera yes because there is camera to api pre-enabled so you can just install any google camera apk for redmi note 5 pro it should work pretty fine right now i have installed this camera and i'll link it below in the description so you don't need to worry the google camera works fine now if you talk about google pay well you will get disappointed a little bit because google pay does not work right out of the box in this rom so to get google pay working you need to like disable the phone and sms app permission from google pay services then you can set up your google pay otherwise the google pay just shows like this it says that google pay can't be used on this device so yeah that's kind of a bummer but yeah let me just close all the apps and show you guys the app on up speeds and the animations over here as you can see it's pretty fast let me open facebook twitter play store youtube instagram now spotify Now let's open all the apps from memory again. As you can see the app open up like animations are pretty fast over here. It is kind of blazing fast at 0.5x. And as you can see all the apps are in memory. So no issues regarding memory management and you can even switch between apps just like this. 
this is pretty quick i would say no issues whatsoever regarding the ram management or the app from speeds in this rom everything is buttery smooth over here here is the end to do score of this rom and if you talk about settings of pubg let me show you which settings you can play pubg on this rom so the maximum with the graphics settings you can go is smooth and high then balanced and high then hd and high so i'm gonna play hd and high right now So the gaming performance as you just saw is pretty decent, not bad at all. You can't play on ultra settings or something like that but yeah everything is present on high settings and over here as you just saw the daily driving performance is pretty decent I would say and it's not bad at all. You can pretty much daily drive with this ROM pretty fine. Thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the latest liquid remix ROM on the redmi note 5 pro and subscribe to the channel again if you have not yet this is tito from kd and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now